What's going on guys? I'm not magic here. Um, I'm doing a video one of those one of those videos where I read you guys' messages that you send in and uh, Give shitty advice on them because I'm retarded Anyways, <laughs> let's just get into the video uh, This guy sends me a message Subject girls lol says hey man. I'm a big fan of your videos I'm 14 and my girlfriend and I have been hanging out and stuff at parks or wherever and it's getting kind of boring Where's a good place that I can talk to her and take her on a date that isn't the movies? I'm just mindfucked because we're only 14. Thanks once again, big fan. Alright, dude. Um, this is probably... I don't know. I get a lot of messages commonly, so when I say this is like one of my most common messages, that really only narrows it down to like the top 20. So, anyways, I do get this message kind of a lot, though. And it's a good question because... I, you know, I think we all go through the same thing because when you're under 16 or however old you need to be to drive and you don't have your driver's license, when neither you or your boyfriend or girlfriend have one, dating fucking sucks. Straight up. Dating is terrible. Uh, and you know, it's funny because like, I feel like we're the first generation to actually date at that, that young of an age. Because if I ask all my older cousins and family members who are like into their 30s and fucking 40s now because everyone's old. But I asked them, you know, well, I don't ask them, but I've heard stories how, like, they weren't allowed to date until they were 16 or 18 or done with high school or stuff, like, stuff like that. Like, they're wait until they were more mature, till they could drive. So dating for them was never really an issue because when you can drive, there's just, you're really unlimited, or you're really, how do I want to say this? You're really not limited to what you can and can't do. Um, so... <laughs> My opinion is that if you're actually going to go on, like, a date with your girlfriend, the movie theater really is never a good place. Um, I mean, it's cool to go see a movie and all, but if you're planning on more of a date, I think movie theaters are good for, like, a girl that you're trying to hook up with that we could, like, make out and everything. Because if I'm taking a girl on a date, I want, like, a one-on-one -on -one conversation. I want, like, interaction, not just, like, fucking making out. So, I don't know. That's just my opinion. And you say you go to, like, parks and stuff, which was going to be something I suggested, so thanks for taking that away from me. Uh, one of my, one of the things I'll do, not too much, but I do tend to resort to it, if like, as a last-ditch effort. And the reason I'm going to be telling you to be cautious about this is because, um, well, let me just tell you what it is. I like to, like, whenever I'm going on a date, I'll usually bring a girl to, like, a outdoor mall, sometimes an indoor mall, but, like, outdoor mall, I'll go get lunch there. Um, the reason you should be cautious about this is because girls kind of like to shop and spend a lot of money and you being her boyfriend, you're going to spend like millions and millions, like no joke, dude. Um, so going to an outdoor mall, you're probably going to drop a lot of money on her. Uh, probably, I don't know, it's your call if it's worth it or not, but it's, those are always a fun thing to do. Um, I don't know, do stuff like go to the fair, like the LA County Fair or the fucking Orange County Fair is going on right now, I think it was. Um, the U.S. Open, if you live in California, like, see, I'm only good with California spots, but, like, the U.S. Open in Huntington's going on right now. Uh, so, like, stuff like that. Take her to places like that. It's summer right now, so you're obviously not seeing her in school. I would take her to a water park, something like that. Um, all these places, you have to drive, like, or you're gonna have to have your parents drive and whatnot. Uh, Disneyland was also a good one that I like to, you know, when I was younger, like, seventh grade, I remember one girlfriend in particular, we went to Disneyland, like, almost every other weekend for summer, and it was great. Um, so, I don't know, that's just my opinion. But honestly, and this is, to this date, this is still one of my favorite things to do with a girlfriend, is to look at it more as just hanging out with her rather than an actual date. And by that I mean, think of it as you want to just hang out with your girlfriend. So she'll come over to your house, you'll go over to her house. I had a girlfriend where every Thursday was movie night and so she'd come over, I'd go over there and we'd pop it up, like we'd go to Netflix or whatever and bust out a movie. That was pretty sweet, you know, just hanging out at your own house. I love it because there's like, there's nothing in my house. If the girlfriend comes over to my house, she cannot possibly spend money that I have to like buy shit for her. Um, I'm, I'm not joking, like if you get older, cause you're only 14, but like, Trust me, when you get older, dude, girls are fucking expensive. It's ridiculous. Um, but I don't know. Invite her over to your house more. I, I don't know. Go to, like, a picnic in the park. I know you said you wanted stuff other than parks. Uh, but just hanging out at each other's houses is always a good time. Uh, but like I said, you are kind of limited since you're only 14. Now, I also like if you can drive. For those of you out there watching that can drive, one of my favorite places is to just casually go out to lunch. Like, I love doing that because it just, it's kind of a casual thing. It's not super romantic. It's just, I don't know. It's just how I like my dates. I guess I'm not super romantic, 
But uh, I like my relationships to be casual. I don't like super serious romantic relationships either. Uh, so that's just my advice. Hopefully it helped you. Uh, probably didn't because I suck at life. You all know that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, a rating would be greatly appreciated. Leave me some comments of what you guys thought. Uh, if you are going to send me advice, questions, messages, whatever, through a YouTube personal message, I would implore you to send them, but don't make a message saying like, oh, I like this girl, but I don't know if she likes me, what do I do? Because that's, that's way too vague, and I've probably already done videos on that. So uh, please be more specific, actually leave me, don't leave me too long of a message, because then I just won't read it, but, you know, kind of get into uh, specifics, do something that you haven't seen me already cover, uh, make your subjects good, don't just say like help or hey or girls, which is the subject of this one, or like what do I do, like actually you like try to make the subject relevant to your question. And last thing, I know that I don't advertise my Twitter uh, a lot, because I really don't care, but um, if you do want to come over, follow me on Twitter, Come talk to me, have a conversation, you know, I'm always on Twitter, I'm always replying to tweets and stuff, I thought I'd just throw that out there, so if you do want to come chat with me, the link will be in the description, come follow me, talk to me, I'm lonely, please give me your company. Alright, anyways, I'll see you guys later, peace.